uh, today we're going to be talking about Ultimate Origins number one. Mm -hmm. This is Geeks Like Us, week number nine. I'm Mike. Jazz. Nathan. And uh, Ultimate Origins. What do you guys think? Don't normally read the Ultimate Universe. You uh, should. It's good. We've talked before about the whole uh, Spider-Man issue we had before with changing different things around, but that's the point of a different universe. The writers get to come in, they get to tinker with things, new throw ideas. ideas out. Mm -hmm. It kind of do a what if thing without doing a what if comic. I believe you said something about you read that it's supposed to be reinventing the comics and twenty something. Yeah, century the, and that late, the latest issue of Wizard. They were talking about how the Ultimate line supposedly reinvented comics in the twenty first century, which I disagree with. But I definitely agree with it. Yeah. Well, I, I, I give you this much. I hate Ultimate Spider Man, but I do. Li I love the Ultimate Fantastic. I say I hated the Ultimate Spider Man. I hated one character in an issue. Yeah. I, I love the Ultimate Fantastic Four, though. So, I mean, I do like some of the Ultimate Universe. I'm glad they did do some of it. Some of the things they touch on in this one, you know, it's it's the Ultimate Origins. is not tagged down to one specific character. Uh, points to touch on, they flash back, and you get to see, I guess, the original Captain America. He was called their super soldier, but he really wasn't any <laughs> normal super. He got shot. He was a regular guy who took a bullet like a trooper <laughs> and, and then bled out on a flag. And they're like, yeah. we can't have this again. Then you get to see some stuff with Nick Fury pre Nick with Fury. Two eyes. With two, yeah, yeah, with two, two eyes. eyes before the one he got Nick removed. Nick Fury, you know, and he, he's I, basically Robin, an abandoned house. Oh, well, Robin. I don't know, not right. World War II. I mean, looting. He's looting. He's looting. Yeah, they break into and the safe. Him and, they, uh, I don't remember, the uh, Wolverine. They catch him and... It, no, it wasn't, no, it wasn't Wolverine, was it? Uh, I'm sure it is. Did you not recognize the name? No, I didn't. I don't know Wolverine's name, though, either. James. So. That's true. Oh, okay. James Howlett, I believe. And I oh, it might have been. I might have looked over that, because... I'm not a Wolverine fan, don't really care. Uh, <laughs> the other thing, they, uh... Basically, it looks like they're putting. Nick, they capture Nick Fury. He's trying to get out. He's not, you know, the hero kind of thing you'd expect if you know anything about the Nick Fury from well, the regular series. Also, one of the other guys was named Fisk, which yeah, probably yeah, okay. a precursor to Wilson, Wilson Fisk, Fisk, or possibly I don't yeah. know if he's Wilson got Fisk's that's true. Father, who knows? Yeah. I do but, like that he was one of the first Super Soldiers. That was yeah, they put Nick Fury through the Super Soldier thing. We get to see how that turns out. Uh, also, can't picture Samuel Jackson that. They <laughs> show something with Wolverine, True. him going through the Weapon X project yep. in the Ultimate Universe, but they make reference to basically all of his powers being genetically engineered, and that he is mutant zero. They mutants are not something that just happened to happen. Yep. It the government yeah, created the government the mutants, did it. I guess. Uh, the Canadian government, the, whatever. Canadian, Canadian government super soldier mutants, project. Yes. Those Canucks, it, uh, crazy Canucks. <laughs> We love you, Canucks. Keep watching. Yeah, I, I, I will say this. I'm, I'm interrupting you before you say anything else good about this. Um, I am glad to see uh, the scientists that created Wolverine and the mutants in general, and I'm actually interested in reading the rest of this series or pick up the TV so I can see them die a horrible, horrible death because what they did is stupid. You mean because every scientist back in that era dies a horrible, horrible death? I'm hoping so because creating mutants and well, Wolverine was dumb. Any, being any scientist tied to the Weapon X project pretty well means you're going to get a couple good three slashes or holes somewhere sure. in this region. Sure. Well, I think the cool part about this entire series is this actually touches on some stuff that happened in Marvel Team Up yeah. uh, early on, and it's supposedly going to tie everything mm -hmm. in the Ultimate Universe together, which, in yeah. my opinion, it kind of breaks what they wanted to do with the Ultimate Universe and keep it continuity-free, but for those like me that have actually stayed on top of the Ultimate Universe the entire time, that's cool because now everything... Yeah. And the, the thing you're going to keep roll. seeing for all the previews, I mean, it's right on the first page, it's all connected. Yep. They keep saying that. It's all connected. There's something that they're discovering, figuring out now as the comics are going along. It's all connected. Mm -hmm. And that... Like Ultimate said, Origins. Brought to you by Connects. <laughs> tying it all together, bringing some continuity in, even though it's not really what they... Yeah. I, I'm, I'm a sucker for origin stories and the story, even though I hate Wolverine character and mutants in general, I like to see where they came from finally. It was revealed where they came from. I like the origin of Nick Fury. I thought that was awesome. Um, so, I mean, I am kind of looking forward to see what happens next. I probably pick up the issues, but the trade I'll definitely probably want to read just so I can get a better idea of what the Marvel Universe is all about, which is really nice to read because you get a better idea of what's going on. Well, at least in the Ultimate Universe. I mean, yeah, I was going to say, I'm a Marvel guy. I probably won't pick this up. I might glance at it when the next issue comes out to see if it's something that maybe hooks me. Maybe I will pick it up from yeah, there on so out. Yeah, you're old school Marvel. I'm, I love the Ultimate stuff. 
I'm just yeah, I'm just not a fan of the ultimate. I've I've got my guys typecast in their roles in the regular universe, and I just I like to see them there Think outside of the box. Which I have. I do like the ultimates better than. The I will say universe, I've read one so. thing about Nightcrawler basically being some type of psychotic assassin in the Ultimate Universe, and it's interesting to see the spin they can put on him. I mean, I was a fan of the Age of Apocalypse when that whole thing happened, just to see what kind of spin they put on him. To me, this is just kind of the same thing. It's mm -hmm. just it's a it's a drawn out glorified what if comic. Yeah. Yeah. Not that's a bad thing. But Overall, though, uh, good art, good read, good book for a Marvel in, which is shocking for me to see. It look. is. And uh, we're out of time for today. Check yep. us out on YouTube, uh, MySpace, ParadiseHobbies.com, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Yep. See ya.